Now this word, tongues, comes from the Greek word glossolalia, which means languages. Just they spoke with other languages. That is the original text. Now this is not the same uh, tongues as you find in 1 Corinthians 14. Can't be because they said if you do that in a service, you've got to have an interpreter. They didn't need an interpreter here because they were also hearing. Look at verse 5. Now there were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. Keep that in mind. Every nation under heaven. And when the sound occurred, the crowd came together and were bewildered because each one of them was hearing them speak in his own language. So they were not only speaking with other languages, they were hearing it with other languages as well. It was a miracle of speaking and a miracle of hearing. But the emphasis here is not on the wind, not on the fire, not on the tongues. The emphasis is found in verse 4. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Just as God had promised, Jesus had promised in Acts chapter 1, he says, you wait on this, it will come. It has come. The filling of the Spirit of God. 